Now for this part of the question, we're given g of x, where x is greater than or equal to 5, and asked to find the range. Now if you've been watching my earlier tutorials on range and domain, you'd know that to do questions like this, I always suggest that you sketch the graph. Without the knowledge of the graph, it's very difficult to, in my opinion, to find the range and domain. So, if we just set up some axes, something like this, okay, we've got the origin here, then looking at this graph here, we know that when x is equal to 5, we saw in the last part that g of 5, let's just write it in, g of 5, that was just by substituting x equals 5 in here, gave us 7.5. So we've got our starting value. So if I take this point here, let's say as being 5, just mark that in there, we know that we've got 7.5. So let's just say it's about there-ish, okay? Let's just mark that in as 7.5. Okay, it's not to scale, but uh, just give you an idea of the graph. Now, when I look at g of x, we can see that it is 2x plus 5 over x minus 3. I don't like the look of that. It looks very complicated to sketch. So what I'm going to do is just divide top and bottom by x. So I can see what the behavior is as x gets larger. So 2x divided by x, well that's just going to be 2. And then we've got the 5, and that's divided by x, so we'll put that as 5 over x. And we'll have that all over x divided by x, which is 1, and then you've got minus 3 over x. And changing it into this style, makes it a lot easier to see what happens as we let x get larger. So I'm just going to write this in here as g of x, okay, for x tending to plus infinity. Well, what we're going to get here is this term here, 5 over a very large positive value, that's going to tend to 0. So in the numerator, we're going to have 2. And in the denominator here, okay, we're going to have 3 divided by a very large positive number. That's going to tend to 0. So we're just left with the 1. Now, really, as x gets larger, it's not going to equal 2 over 1. It's going to actually tend to 2 over 1. In other words, 2. So what I've got here is a positive asymptote. y equals 2. And I can see that when x is greater than or equal to 5, the top here, this term here, is always going to be positive. So adding it to a positive number, that top here is going to be positive. 3 divided by a positive number, always going to be positive. It's going to be less than 1, so we're in the denominator, we're just going to have a positive value. So in all, positive divided by positive is positive. This graph is always going to be greater than 2. So our graph is going to go from 7.5, and as x increases from 5, it's going to approach that asymptote there of y equals 2. So... What's our range going to be? Well, we can see from the graph. It's going to be anything greater than 2 up to 7.5. OK, so if I put for that range g of x there, we can see that it's always greater than 2, but less than or equal to 7.5. All right, so I hope you've been able to see your way through that if it was causing any problems. Typical question then on range for a function.